All right, uh, let's look at an example for homework 15, problem number three, part A. All right, so let's find the uh, inverse Laplace transform of s to the negative five halves power. All right, so first I'm gonna try to rewrite it as, all right, I don't like a negative power. So this is uh, inverse Laplace transform of all right, so it's a one over s to the five halves power on the bottom, all right? Then remember that uh, 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 Laplace transform of t to the a is uh, gamma of a plus one over s to the a plus one, all right? So if we had a gamma of uh, five halves, then we can go back to t to the um, t to the three halves. All right. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to multiply since we would like to have gamma of uh, five halves. All right. Then we're going to divide by gamma of five halves so that we don't change anything here. All right. So we have that. All right. Then I'm going to uh, group uh, these guys together so that uh, it fits the form here. All right. Then you have this extra gamma of 5 halves on the bottom. So I'm going to kick it outside of the inverse Laplace transform. All right. And the inverse Laplace transform is linear. So if you have a constant multiple, you can just uh, kick it outside. All right. So what we're going to get is uh, it's going to be 1 over right, gamma of 5 halves. Right? That's just going to be a constant. Then we have to find the uh, inverse Laplace transform of gamma of 5 halves over s to the five halves, All right? So you just want to go back to it so you can see that uh, this is the power. In this case, a plus one is five halves. And uh, this is going to be t to the a, which means that the t to the one less than five halves, which is t to the three halves, All right? So we can write this guy as, well, right, before we uh, do that, we probably need to compute this guy. What's gamma of uh, five halves, All right? All right, using the reduction formula, this is same thing as three halves times gamma of uh, three halves, All right? And, uh, but uh, gamma of three halves is the same thing as uh, one half gamma of one half. Right, and a gamma of one half is known to be uh, square root of pi. Right, so you would get um, a three over four square root of pi. Right, so this is just a reciprocal of this. So you would get the four over a three square root of pi. Right, then here this guy is simply t to the one less than five halves, which is going to be three halves. Right, so that is the uh, inverse Laplace transform of s to the negative five halves. Right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.